Now another method you can do is using your hands. So say we had 3 times 6. You could hold up 6 fingers and count by 3's by using the sections of your fingers. So you would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And you know that that equals 18. If you had a 4 problem, let's say we had 4 times, oh, we'll do 6 again. You hold up 6 fingers, and I know in this picture it's holding up 7, but here, I'll do this. So we can just pretend that there's 6 up. Now to use this method, counting by 4s, you're going to count the sections again, and then just add an extra on top. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now, our nine trick. To do your nine trick, you hold out all your hands, kind of like in this picture. Let's say we had nine times eight. The way you do this, is starting like how you read a book, so all the way on the left side, we're going to count over 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now on our 8th finger, you bend that one down. I'm just going to scribble it out because this is a picture. Now, Anything on the left side of the finger that is bent down, we're going to count by tens. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Then when I hit my finger that is bent, after that I'm going to start adding just ones to it. So I have 71, 72. So 9 times 8 equals 72. Say we had 2 times 9. Seeing the 9 lets me know that it's a 9 trick, so I stick my hands out like this, and I'm going to count over 2. 1, 2. Bend that one. Anything to the left, I count by 10, so now I have 10. When I hit the finger that's bent, I stop counting by tens and just add one on. So I have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 2 times 9 equals 18. Now an 8 trick. The best thing to do with 8s if you don't know how to count by eights, it's just split it in half. So let's say I had eight times four. I'm going to think of two numbers that add up to eight. And you can do four and four. If you don't want to use four, you can do maybe five and three, because those are also easy to count by. And if I were to add these together, 5 plus 3 equals 8. So it's kind of like I, when I have the array and I draw a line through. This is my, my first smaller part, and this is my second smaller part. So you only break down one number, so this second number stays the same. 5 times 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. 3 times 4, 3, 6, 9, 12. Now I just add these together. And that gives me my answer, 32. Let's say I had 8 times 3. I'm going to now split it into 4s this time. I'm going to split my 8 into two 4s, because 4 plus 4 is 8, which means my other numbers stay the same. 
I hold up four fingers and count by threes, I get three, six, nine, twelve. This is the same problem, so they are both twelve. And then I add them together, and I get that eight times three equals twenty-four. Seven trick. Um, the best trick I have for seven is breaking it down like we did eight. But an important thing to remember about seven, the best numbers to break it down into are five and two. Because these numbers are the easiest to count by. And if I were to add these back together, five plus two equals seven. So I just took this number and broke it into two smaller parts. So I have five times six and two times six. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 2 times 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now I add them together, and I get that that equals 42. I'll do another one. 7 times 2, I'm going to break my 7 into 5 and 2. Keep my other number the same. 5 times 2, 5, 10. 2 times 2, 2, 4. Add those together, and I'm going to scoot my 4 over so it is in the correct place value. 0 plus 4 is 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. That equals 14. Sixes, you can split it up like we just did the other ones, or I'm going to go back to my hand picture if I can get to it. Okay, so if we had six times three. I'll hold up three fingers. I'm just going to scribble all these out and only have three showing. So again, you could have split it like we did the sevens in the eights. So you could split six and two, four and two, or three and three, or five and one. Or you can hold up your fingers and count each of the sections twice. So if I do six times three, I hold up three fingers. I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you can do it that way. Or um, I will show you how you can split it as well. Maybe. There we go. So if we had 6 times 9, 9 could tell you to do the 9 trick, but I'm showing you a 6 trick, so we're just going to ignore that. Whoops, that is not my underline. We'll split our 6 into 5 and 1. 5 times 9, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 1 times 9, 1 tells us that whatever it's being multiplied by is the answer. 1 times 9 is 9. Scoot that over. So now we add it up. 5 plus 9 is 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. So when it comes to multiplication, really, it's just finding a strategy that works with you and practicing it over and over, and eventually, you'll just be able to remember the problems. Real quick, before I end this, I do want to remind you of another eight trick we have, just for one specific problem. Eight times eight. And this is just going to remind you guys of our little poem that we say. I ate and I ate till I got sick on the floor. Eight times eight is 64.
four. Just remember that because it sounds just like the numbers and it makes that problem super easy to remember. So while you're doing multiplication problems, just keep your strategies in mind and continue practicing them. Practice makes perfect.